Right, the grant and the number share. If you're using our manual system or if you're using a, a desktop computer system to record all your accounting transactions, consider Zero. Zero is a cloud based accounting package. It's great for your team, keeps you up to date with all your um, financial transactions and gives you immediate results in real time to run the data up to date. Today I'm just going to show you one of the key reports I love to use and I think it's critical that you use it for your business so I can give you a snapshot of where your business is at any point in time. It's called a management report. Here we go, once it loads up. Normally it comes loaded with uh, so many different uh, reports but you can always add more. First of all, it comes up with an executive summary, which shows you your, your current uh, position with cash received, cash spent, your profitability, your balance sheet, your sales, and a few uh, key performance indicators. Gives you an idea of how your business is progressing. Okay. The next uh, section of this report is a cash summary report, which Gives you an indication of your income and less cash expenses, plus other cash movements, like if you bought any fixed assets for the period, or you paid any tax, or paid any financing, like bank loans and so forth. And it shows you your opening and closing cash balance. The next report is your profit and loss summary report, which again for the month, and here you can do a comparison to, between last month or last year. And by selecting uh, compare filter, uh, you select your year, the uh, last two years, and then update. Uh, and then it shows what's happened over that period. In this case, no transactions have happened. Uh, next one is your balance sheet, which shows all your assets, liabilities, equity. <coughs> Again, you can compare it for different periods as shown there. Yeah. The next important one is your accounts receivable. You're a company that often people uh, sells on credit. This report's going to be ideal for you. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to show you who owes what amount of money to your business. All right. And you can add percentage of total, update, and you click your finger on the pulse, who owes you money, how much you uh, pay owe, and you better start uh, collecting that cash in. Same with uh, age payables, it shows you the people that you owe money to, and again a similar sort of concept. Now, if we select these columns, uh, we can add additional uh, information to the column and update. All right, one of the ones that I like doing on the H receivable summary uh, is to add, uh, first of all, the credit limit of the customer and then the available credit each customer has. We have a look at this update. Okay, in this example, if no one's got uh, any credit limit, then it's not available credit. But once you uh, put the credit limit in, it comes up with the available credit. It's left for them, or none, if they're already up to see with their credit limit. Now, yeah. two other points. If you want to add report, you click on the add report. Yeah. You might want to include a bank reconciliation summary. Alright, this shows you nothing's been done. I oh, know we've got to search for the bank account, okay. It shows you where your reconciled uh, bank account is up to at any point in time. And just some other reports you might like to add. No, uh, we're down here a bit further. Where are they? Income by contact. 
And so it was a beautiful child. Yeah. Very, very, very impressive. And you can do the same with the expenses as well. Okay, let's just sort of stand a bit slow today. That's been able to work. Expenses by contact or similar sort of contact. A beautiful chart, you can click on three maps, or five chart, whatever. Yeah. One other point I'd just like to add, we'll just go back to the where is it? Page receivable somewhere. If you want to add comments, you can, but you've got to make sure that you have the ability to it. See where it's got enable add comment? Make sure that's ticked. Okay. And at the same time, whenever you're clicking beside an amount, you see here current, total, so we're not going to follow up here. But if I want to add a note, you see that little sign, I can click add note, and then go down the screen a bit. Right, and put it, um, a note here. Uh, done. Same here. Add new note. Go down a bit. Follow up with customer next month or next week. Next month might be too late. So you've got a couple of notes now. Yeah. You can save this as a custom report, which means you don't have to keep adding reports all the time. All right, it will appear in your custom report list. So every time you want to run it, you just click on report and go up to custom. See here the custom, and it's there. And it tells you it contains nine reports, so you don't have to keep adding in reports each time. Yeah. And there's your report. Now you might have to remove some of those. There's one I just clicked on. Yeah, you might have to remove some of those notes. And unlink the notes. Unlink the note, then the note's gone. Okay. And the next thing you can do, you can do is uh, save it, export it as a style PDF. But no styling, gonna be whatever, no watermark. And let's see how it works. Go the wrong way. Let's try that again. So, uh, so PDF, include cover and content page. I like that. <laughs> so when I look at this, Management report. This is the contents, executive report, and so forth. Very impressive. What do you think? Okay, if you need help um, uh, with setting up these reports or running them for you on a monthly or quarterly basis, please don't hesitate to contact me on WhatsApp. Uh, plus six two eight one three nine one eight six three double eight two. Thank you. Have a good day.